here I've pre-created some vectors of a flower. I've placed these on some vector layers. So we'll just take a look at how these are created. So the first is the center of the flower, which is a very simple circle with lots of other circles on the inside of this. Next, we have the outer petals, the inner petals, and then a boundary of the complete design. So I'm going to start by turning on the flower outer petals and I'm going to show my front relief and I'm going to rename relief layer 1 and I'm going to name this petals outer. Now for the main part of this demonstration I'm going to take a look at the spin tool. Now to find the spin tool, we hold down the left mouse button, come down to the spin tool, we have a few options available to us. The very basic that we're going to look at in this demonstration itself of creating this is just hitting this as the start point. And we can do this all in the 3D view and selecting calculate. So it's done a complete rotation, as shown here, 360 degrees around to create our shape using this cross section that we pre-created, just so we can see this here. So we span this shape all the way around our design. Now to create the petals, I'm just going to select the petals, opening my shape editor up, which you can either select this icon up here, F12 on your keyboard, or double clicking the vectors. And I'm going to use zero rest. Now this will zero anything or remove anything around the outside of the vectors I have selected to leave me the start of my petals. Now they look kind of rough on the edges at the moment. You can see quite sharp edges. Now what I'm going to do is relief, smooth. I'm going to run quite a few passes over the top of this. I'm going to run 10 passes over the top. Just to smooth it out within our design. The next thing I'm going to move on to is creating a new layer. And renaming this to Petals Inner. And likewise, I'm going to turn off my Petals Outer and turn on my Petals Inner Vectors. Making sure I'm on the correct Petals Inner layer. I'm going to select this vector here. View it from the top down just so we can see what we've created. Again, opening that spin tool exactly the same process this time and I'm going to calculate this as shown here so I'll just close my box down now do exactly what I did before so open the shape editor up zero the rest around it and there we have some petals which once I've relief smoothed, just like I did previously. And turn on my petals outer. Make sure I change my height to merge high, because at the moment, one sitting on top of the other. We have the basis for our flower itself using the spin tool. Now the next part I'm going to work on will be the flower center. So turning on my flower center vector. Here we have create my new layer. Rename this flower center. 
importantly I'm going to change my mode to merge high because I don't want it to sit on it uncomfortably so selecting this outer vector opening my shape editor I'm going to put in a height of 1.6 millimeters my angle can be 30 degrees and I'm going to add this into place now what I'm looking for here I turn my vector off is just to make sure as it is here that my dome sits just slightly over the top of my actual flower itself now just to finish this off I'm going to select these vectors here make a very small raised height and just add these into place So just create little domes all over the design itself and turn my vectors off. So here we have our created flower. Now there's many ways to finish this off. You could use the sculpting tool and if I use the sculpting tool, which if you right click sculpting and I could carve in to my flowers importantly to make sure that you be on the right layer so the petals outer and you could carve into your design if you so wanted to but in this case I've got a flower texture pre-created to add on top of my design which I'm going to move up to the top and as we can see it interacts with my complete finished flower and now we have a finished flower with petals using the spin tool within ArtCam and using zero rest to cut out the design. 